heard and there's an offside flag so it's an ideal opportunity to run through the uh, Scarborough lineup. There's the goalkeeper, Ian Ironside. Number two is Alan Kamara, three Neil Thompson, four Paul Olsen, five Craig Short, six Ian Bennyworth, seven Colin Morris returns to the side after dropping himself for the game against Carlisle on Saturday, eight Mitch Cook, nine is Paul Dobson and this is Rotherham on the ball with Hurd and the referee's whistle has blown, it's a free kick to the Millers. And we'll say eight is Mitch Cook, nine Paul Dobson, ten Tommy Graham for Steve Norris, eleven Martin Russell, and the two substitutes are Steve Adams and Steve Norris. Headed down, the shot is Dempsey's, and a fingertip save and a very good one too by the Scarborough keeper Ian Ironside. There's two or three minutes play, that's the first corner kick to the Millers. Swinging out with the goalkeeper, didn't get it, it's a goal! And the congratulations are for Des Hazel, the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper unable to punch the ball away. Oh, that's a brilliant start for the Millers who took 89 minutes to score in their last home game. That's a Scarborough long throw and uh, Johnson, uh, sorry it was Evans' has head, the cross and then Dempsey uh, getting the header to that that was uh, Bennyworth and the cross oh it was cleared out by Andy Barnsley for Rotherham heard was there a nudge on heard apparently not the ball goes forward once again this could be dangerous yet and uh, Barnsley forced by Paul Dobson to concede the Millers conceding the corner kick to Scarborough Scarborough's first after five minutes. That's Billy Russell challenging, but uh, Sheffield United for some time. That's Tommy Graham. Well, is that in? Oh, what a good save! Well, if that was a shot, it was a superb one. And so very nearly the equaliser for Scarborough on 10 minutes. Oh! This could be dangerous. Well, it's a handball. The keeper coming beyond the 18-yard line and the referee whistling immediately. But actually, the keeper didn't have an awful lot of choice, did he, really? It was a poor back pass, really. Let uh, Bobby Williamson in just where he likes the ball. Six Scarborough players in the wall, one Rotherham player in front of them. The referee not quite happy with the position of the, the wall as yet. On the ball is Goodwin. Hurd touches it for Goodwin, square for Dempsey. The shot by him, good save. The ball rebounds, no flag. And it's a goal kick. The Scarborough players complaining because I think that they felt the, the ball coming back. Um, found a couple of Rotherham players looking in an offside position but uh, and Billy Russell for the Millers with this throw in <laughs> Hazel for Williamson bit of a deflection on its way headed on it's in the box Pat Hurd Evans Evans going and scrambled out it's a corner kick and Colin Morris not happy with that at all. Complaining to the referee, I'm not quite sure what about, but um, not happy at all with that. That's the Miller's fourth corner kick on 17 minutes. And Hurd takes it, this time it swings out. Bit of, bit of a wasted corner kick really picked up for Scarborough by Colin Morris. 
Nice punch by the Rotherham keeper. Hazel doing well to get past the fullback. It's a bit of a chase on here. Williamson is ahead of him if the if the ball's early, but um, holding onto it instead, waits for support to arrive. Williamson onto the touchline towards Dempsey. Dempsey gets across across the box for Heard. Heard getting the head down, and it was a very good one as well. The cross, header, only just over the bar. And it was a very good effort by Colin Morris. That's just about the best we've seen from Scarborough so far. And given those supporters in the visitors' enclosure, some hope for an equaliser. Certainly one or two of the right-sided players seem to have been seeing more of the ball for Scarborough. Kamara, and with him is Goodwin. Goodwin conceding the corner. That's Scarborough's third of the night. Across to take it is Martin Russell. Martin Russell signed from Leicester City for £100,000 recently by Scarborough. Headed by Williamson, helping out at the back. The shot is Morris. Um, it went past Crosby. A, de a desperate save. And it's still not clear. It's in the six-yard box. And a Scarborough player going down. And, the, well, the referee checking on the goalkeeper. But I think all's well. One or two complaints there that a, a Scarborough player went down in that melee. In the last couple of minutes, two heart-stopping moments for Rotherham United. Williamson with a lovely head-on for Evans. The space on the right here. Oh, sorry, on the left here. Is Sean Goodwin going on past Kamara. The back heel is neat. Oh, what a lovely effort! But Scarborough have possession. That's Olsen and Hurd and... Dempsey and Evans and Goodwin, no flag. Goodwin manages to get round and supplies the ball for Dempsey. Well, really, that should have been put away. Crosby and Williamson. Well, oh, now that could be a booking, I would have thought, and it might even be worse than that. We, this really, Billy Russell had little alternative. But this could be sad news for Rotherham United. Billy Russell called over. It was a poor back pass that caused all the headaches for Rotherham United. Billy Russell's name is in the book. And the crowd relieved, I would think, with the decision. <laughs> I guess that at, uh, a couple of seasons ago would have been an automatic sending off for, for Billy Russell. The referee pacing the ball back. Another, well... The wall's not back ten yards and the referee's not happy with them at all. In fact, the wall is very poorly positioned, I would have thought. The shot, and it's there! It had to be really because there was gaps both left and right of Kellam O'Hanlon. What a mess for Rotherham United after such a good start. And the goal scorer, I think, was Neil Thompson. Number three. I'm pretty sure it was Neil Thompson. To be honest, I was watching the ball at the time. Certainly not giving the cover that it ought to have been to the Rotherham keeper. On. Well cleared. But this is a bit of a chase now for Barnsley and Dobson. Paul Dobson could create trouble here for Rotherham United. Well tackled by Barnsley. Well, it's still not clear. It came back for Scarborough. This could be very dangerous. Morris! Only just wide of the post. 
Well, that could have been the winner for Scarborough. And of all people, the man with probably more experience on this part than many, the player manager for Scarborough, put it just wide of the far post.